Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, we're going to be introducing a new company to the channel. The name is Cosmos Group Holdings, and we're specifically covering their Coinlectibles platform, which is involved in the Fusion NFT space. Now this is cutting edge technology. I'm super excited to talk about this one, but before we do, please take a second, hit the like button, you guys. It's a huge help to myself and the channel. If you're not currently subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And let me know in the comment section below if you've heard of Coinlectibles before, what you think about this platform, and how you think this company stacks up to some of the other players in the NFT space. Now with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right. Today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Cosmos Group Holdings Incorporated trades under the ticker symbol COSG on the OTC exchange in the United States. And in today's video, we're specifically gonna focus on the company's Coinlectibles platform and the Fusion or DOT NFT space. Now I'm super excited to talk about this one for a number of reasons we're gonna to get to in today's video. NFTs is obviously a very exciting and high growth industry. And I think this company definitely has something unique Unique to offer. Now before we get into all that, I wanted to quickly take a look at the chart. So if we look at a one month view, you guys, you can see that COSG was actually trading as high as $4.50 US back at the start of August. The shares have pulled back quite dramatically over the last 30 days, and you're now able to pick up shares for a fraction of what you could have only a couple of weeks ago. Now based on this share price or close as of August 23rd, you can see a market cap in the neighborhood of about $300 million US. So again, a smaller micro cap company here you guys giving you the opportunity to get in at the ground floor on this exciting and high growth industry. Now if we jump over to the company's website coinlectibles.art you can see the landing page here a variety of different options for people looking to invest in the fusion NFT space. Now we're going to talk about this sector in more detail we'll go into their updated investor presentation but I wanted to give you guys a look and a feel for the website before we get into that so you can see a number of different featured artists on the main page here you guys and this new category of art known as crossover fusion dots and dots stands for digital ownership tokens so really what you're getting here you guys is a unique offering between the digital world and nft space and the physical or traditional art collectibles world so we'll refer back to this website in a couple of seconds here but again i wanted to give you an introduction of exactly what this platform is offering to potential buyers and the other thing I quickly wanted to mention is just their expansion into what they call the Coinlectibles sports realm, which we're going to talk about as we move into the investor presentation. And this one's super exciting because they just announced a huge partnership with Chris Weber, who's a five-time NBA All-Star. So again, a lot of expansion, a lot of growth, and we're going to talk about the collectible sports category next up in the presentation. Now with that being said, if we jump over to the Coinlectibles investor deck, you can see the goal here is really to combine or fuse physical and virtual collectibles. So this is super exciting and the mission behind this company is to improve the overall experience in the art and collectibles sector by enhancing efficiency, transparency, and accessibility using these fusion dots. And again, that stands for digital ownership token. Our vision is to revolutionize the collectibles industry with tools and strategies that bridge the physical and virtual realm. So that's something that I've heard a lot as I expand my knowledge of the NFT space. People are confused as to why individuals would spend money on digital assets. And this organization or Cosmos Group Holding, specifically their Coinlectibles subsidiary, is looking to bridge that gap by offering people who invest in these products both a physical and a digital offering. Now in terms of what this organization brings to the table, they've got a strong founder backing with technology and arts background. We're going to look at the leadership team who has a lot of experience in the collectible art space. They've got a large pipeline of collectibles, artists, and partners across a global footprint. So we just saw that NBA partnership. We looked at some of the variety available on the art platform, and this is continuing to expand as we're going to see throughout today's presentation. They're traded on the US OTC market, so it's already a publicly listed company. Again, we looked at the ticker symbol in the intro. So they trade under the COSG ticker on the OTC exchange. It's an arts and technology company at its core, and it's operating in the $1 trillion plus arts and collectible markets. And we're actually going to talk about this market opportunity in a little bit more detail in a couple of slides here. 
Their proprietary fusion dots are again, digital ownership tokens, which are the gold standard in NFT technology. So continuing to push that envelope or the technical boundaries of this up and coming sector. They've already had a number of successful launches and they're scaling at the frontier of the metaverse. So that's another concept we've talked extensively about on this channel. The metaverse is opening a number of new investing opportunities or doors for people looking for exposure to this space and Coinlectables or specifically Cosmos Group Holdings gives investors an opportunity to participate in this high growth space. So now that we understand a little bit about this platform, the history behind this company and what Coinlectables is all about, I wanted to walk you through some of their performance highlights to date. So there's a number of key metrics on the side here. Number one, you guys, so far they've registered over a thousand members on their Coinlectables MetaMall. So they're definitely gaining traction in terms of overall headcount, over 8,000 social media followers between their various platforms and in excess of 90 fusion dots that have already been minted. Now on the financial side of things, in terms of the cumulative turnover value of these fusion dots, you're looking in excess of $280 million US. That equates to roughly 690 transactions overall. And based on that run rate, you're looking at an annualized fusion dot turnover value in excess of $360 million US per year. So already some very impressive numbers considering how long the Coinlectables platform has been in existence. And as you can see, they're continuing to hit milestones month after month here, you guys. So this platform, Coinlectables, was only set up back in May of last year. It was acquired by Cosmos Group Holding in June of last year. And since then, you can see pretty much every month since they've owned this platform, they've made significant milestones. So whether it's new partnerships, new dot series being minted, the launch of their e-commerce platform, the Meta Mall, or M&A activity, you can see Coinlectables acquiring Grand Gallery, Coinlectables acquiring Phoenix Water Productions, and that big partnership with NBA Hall of Famer, Chris Weber, which we looked at in the intro. So again, the opportunity to get in at the ground floor of a really exciting business in a super high growth sector. And this slide here does a really good job of highlighting the total addressable market or the various different segments in which Coinlectables is looking to operate. So you can see the art and collectibles market is estimated to be worth $1 trillion by 2025. The sports collectibles market is estimated to be worth $227 billion by 2032, so extremely high growth there. And the metaverse by 2030 is expected to be worth about $5 trillion US. So Coinlectibles and their various different divisions, whether it's Phoenix Water Productions, Grand Gallery, the MetaMall, or the Talk Plus platform, is really looking to take advantage of these various different opportunities. Now we've referred to the term DOT or digital ownership token a number of times in the presentation, so I wanted to specifically specifically talk about this concept and build it out in a little bit more detail. So dots are essentially NFTs that contain legal documents to prove the ownership and rights and are the backbone of the decentralized metaverse. So very similar to the NFT concept that we've talked about in prior videos. NFTs are tokens that can be used to represent ownership through unique items through the blockchain. And as we've discussed previously, the benefits of blockchain is it's a shared ledger, it's immutable, so it can't be changed, and then it's the foundation of the decentralized metaverse. And that leads us to the top right here, which is the metaverse itself, an integrated network of 3D virtual worlds, which obviously has built up a lot of hype over the last couple of months as more and more companies flood into this space. So you can quickly see how all of these various concepts are interconnected. And this is really the ecosystem in which Cosmos Group's holding, specifically the Coinlectables platform, is looking to operate. Now, for those of you who've watched my videos for some time, you know that I love investing in companies that are trying to solve real world problems. So this slide here lays out five unique situations or problems that Coinlectables and this platform is attempting to solve. So number one is unclear provenance, which really talks about the record of ownership for collectible art. So the fusion dots, because they're minted on the blockchain, provides an immutable or unchangeable and traceable transaction record. So that gives a lot of confidence to people investing in these pieces of art. Questionable pricing is number two. So each fusion dot offered on this platform has actually gone through a formal valuation process. And because it's on the blockchain, buyers can also view the past transactions 
for any specific or individual piece of art. Now, number three really refers to the fine art space in general, so a lack of public access. So because they're minting arts and collectibles as fusion dots, this allows the public to access the websites and the metaverse via this platform. The fourth problem being solved here is an illiquid market. So because Coinlectibles has developed their own e-commerce platform or the MetaMall, where dot owners can interact, buy and sell these various different dots, this offers enhanced liquidity in this marketplace. And finally, limited financing options. So buyers can actually use Fusion Dots for pledging and leasing their collectibles, opening up new financing opportunities and optionality for people on this platform. So I thought this slide was really interesting because they specifically call out the problems that are trying to be solved through the Coinlectibles operation. And this really leads us to the Fusion Dot concept, which again is a gold standard in the NFT space. So what you're getting is a combination of physical components and digital or blockchain related components. So when you purchase one of these Fusion Dots, you're actually getting the physical art or collectible item, which includes an RFID or NFC chip to actually track or enhance traceability. And on the blockchain or digital side, you're getting a 3D rendering file, the AI file, a high and low resolution photo file, along with a sales purchase agreement, the appraisal report, the bailment terms, certificate of ownership, and a transfer deed. So all of the documentation you require to support this sale and to prove its record or traceability down the road. And this combination is really the first of its kind offering an experience and value beyond what is available in the current NFT market, which again, a lot of people are critical of because it's 100% digital focused. And as this mall continues to grow or this platform, you can see they're incorporating all types of new collectibles, ranging from photos, sculptures, paintings, wall murals, coins, stamps, sports, watches. The possibilities really are limitless when you start to think of all of the different things that people around the world collect and can be actually added or integrated into this MetaMall platform. And that really starts to paint this picture, no pun intended, of the Coinlectibles ecosystem. So you can see they can integrate galleries and artists to acquire art and collectibles, their authentication partners with experience, legal partnership, and regulated entities to incorporate those legal documents we talked about, the appraisal reports, and the Fusion Dot supporting documentation. They've got the NFT marketplaces and auction houses to actually launch their Fusion Dots and their collector community to promote their fusion dots and talk about and discuss these opportunities. So Coinlectibles is really gonna be the central ecosystem where all of these various different partners and players come to participate in this opportunity. Now in terms of the actual business model here or where this company generates its income, you can see the current revenue streams. They've got diversified revenue here, you guys. So number one is fees, which are collected by providing services like the authentication, the valuation, the certification process, and minting. They've got their capital gains revenue stream. So they actually earn profit from the appreciation of the underlying arts and collectibles. And as we've talked about in previous videos, the fine art space actually has some of the best returns of any investment class. And then third is their transaction fee model. So they're actually gonna receive anywhere from three to 8% of each transaction of these Fusion NFTs. Now looking out a little bit further, the future revenue streams for Coinlectibles and Cosmos Group Holdings Incorporated overall is gonna include financing options, so providing mortgage plans and loans for Fusion NFTs. This company actually has a history in the lending space, which provides a lot of synergies here and looking to offer other value adds to their customers down the road, such as things like insurance. So again, you guys know I love diversified revenue, recurring revenue, and that's exactly what you're getting with this investment opportunity. And obviously as this community continues to scale, more people from the public get involved, which means more artists wanna get involved. That ultimately leads to more artwork available on the platform, which creates a better value proposition for collectors to enter the space. And you can see the ecosystem just continues to grow and gain traction as more and more people start to enter this space. Now, with that being said, the last thing I wanted to leave you guys with today is just some of the recent news in relation to the Coinlectibles platform and the Fusion Dot space. So you can see business news, stock titan, Yahoo Finance, 
Morningstar, a number of the biggest financial news outlets are starting to pick up on this business model. These are all from within the last couple of months. So again, I definitely think this platform is worth a look, you guys, if you're looking for exposure to the NFT metaverse and fusion dot space. This company is really starting to gain momentum. They're on the cutting edge of this technology. They've got a rock star leadership team with a long history in the art and collectible space. And they're continuing to sign new partnerships and acquire new businesses that are making this ecosystem stronger and more lucrative each and every day. Now, I'd be super curious to hear your thoughts in the comment section below on Coinlectables, their platform, their MetaMall concept, and some of the various different offerings they currently have available. If you're still watching the video at this point, hopefully you found some value, so make sure you hit the like button. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, McNally Money, feel free to do so. Now I'll leave a link to the company website in the video description below so you can go in and take a look for yourself. And again, I'd be super interested to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.